Cause if you're looking at me All things Southern Live You're looking at country Hey Louisiana, do you want a great deal? Talk to Jim Taylor He can make it real in a Chevy If you're looking for a large selection and a great deal on a used car, truck, or SUV Come to Jim Taylor Chevrolet We have over 150 in stock GM certified mid-size and full-size SUVs, two and four-wheel drive trucks, compact mid-size and full-size cars, and 15 passenger vans. Price, service, and selection is what makes you number one at Jim Taylor Chevrolet in Ravel. Welcome to All Things Southern, bringing you the charm and heritage of the South. Here's your host, Shelly Tomlinson. Hello, folks. I'm Shelly. They call me the Belle of All Things Southern. Have a seat. We need to chat. A couple of interesting news stories have been brought to my attention that I thought y'all might want to know about. The first one came to me courtesy of a longtime reader who knows that I am always interested in the antics of that silly Peter. You know, that fine little organization I like to refer to as people who eat trees. This first story happened back in October when a tractor trailer carrying a load of live fish crashed on its way to market, causing many of the compartments to rupture and many of those poor fish to die at the scene, which is sad. But PETA is now suing the state of California on behalf of a lady who wants to force the state to erect a roadside memorial to the fish. What do you think about that? My listener thought it was unusual. I said yes and no. I mean, you can always count on California to define unusual. But fry up a mess of catfish for us Southerners, and we'll offer up our own sort of memorial in appreciation of those who gave their lives. We just call it saying grace. Now the second story, that's the strange one. You may not know this, but during Superstorm Sandy, a Pennsylvania woman jumped into a raging river to attempt a high water rescue mission. The thing is, she was bent on saving half a dozen wild ducks from drowning. Ducks. Bless her heart. Yeah, that would be a whole lot funnier if eight policemen hadn't risked their own lives trying to save hers. I reached out to Boss Hogg from Duck Dynasty to see if he and his family felt at all responsible for the whole country going duck crazy. But as of airtime, there has been no comment. Apparently, it is once again up to the bell. But have no fear. I'm all over it. I have created a simple checklist for you to stick in your purse or your man bag if you're into that sort of thing. Please scan it before you attempt to know there are these high water rescue missions. If you can make out bills, feathers, or webbed feet, chances are the struggling party will pull through. Unless, of course, it's not you. If that's the case, it would still be in your best interest to back away. Y'all have a great big day, and come see me. That's allthingsouthern.com, and this is Kelly with Hugs for All.